Adversity or prosperity, which one would you pick? Of course you would pick prosperity, right? That's a no brainer. But today I'm gonna to give you a mind shift. I'm gonna tell you some of the reasons why the opposite might not be so bad after all. Okay, let's jump in. Adversity versus prosperity. Of course we would choose prosperity, right? That's when things are great. Your job's doing well, your health is good, you got money coming in, you're prosperous. You're doing really great, you got some me time going on, you're able to go out and do things, maybe play some golf or tennis or take a trip, take that vacation that you wanted to, maybe go get your nails done when you didn't think you could because you didn't have the money before, but now you're just rolling, you are prosperous, maybe thinking about getting a new car. Maybe some cool stuff that you can do for yourself. Maybe some upgrades around the house. Everybody wants that, right? You got to get that house looking great. Maybe redo a room, get some furniture, redo that den, stuff like that. That prosperous is a great spot to be in because now we get to do things for ourselves. Adversity, who wants that, right? That's when things are sucking. Things are really going bad. You just really down in the dumps, woe is me, you're pitiful, you're putting uh, on, on your social media, you might put unspoken prayer requests. Aren't you sick of those, right? That's a pet peeve of mine. Just say what you need. If you got something going on in your life, just say, I need prayer for so-and-so. Anyway, I am diverting and I'm getting off track. So listen, adversity, yeah, who wants that? That's just not a great time to be in. But today, I want to shift your brain a little bit and let you know why prosperity is not that great and adversity is not that bad. So let's jump in. Prosperity, what's wrong with it? Prosperity can be bad because you get all about self. You get a little too reliant on yourself. You get a little too independent. You get a little too confident in things and you can fall, right? Pride comes before the fall, so they say. And that prosperous season can cause that in you. It can cause too much self where you're wasting money. You're not frugal. You're spending money too much. You're just going out there and wasting money. You can get too comfortable. Maybe you're coasting through life when really you're not hungry for anything because you're, you're prosperous. You're doing great. You've arrived, so to speak. You've arrived, you there, you got money coming in, so you coast, no big deal, you got this. You can be wasteful of your resources. So whatever you've got going on, you might make decisions to spend on things that you really shouldn't. So you're making dumb financial decisions because you're prosperous. You got the money, you got that extra money, so let's go do that, let's get that car, let's upgrade that room. You're just really not worried about saving, you're not worried about being frugal, yeah, I'm going to pay list price for that. No big deal because I'm prosperous. So really being prosperous isn't that great because it's really all about self. You get too self-absorbed. You make dumb decisions. You can become wasteful and you can actually be in a bad spot because you start coasting. And you know what happens in life when you start coasting. People pass you by. People go right by you. And if you're not exercising your muscles and your creativity, then it's going to wither away. So if you're coasting, you're not exercising your muscles, your brain, your thoughts, your skills. You're not honing in on those because you're prosperous and you're coasting and you're getting too comfortable. So prosperity, not that great of a thing. Let's talk about adversity and why it's not so bad after all. First, when you're going through tough times, you become very resourceful. You tap into things you didn't know you had. You get really resourceful with little. You can do a lot with a little when you're going through adversity. You really get into that spot. You can also get really creative because you start having to think. You got to think outside the box. You're in a tough spot. You're in that adversity and that bad spot. It's just not good. So you need to figure out things. You start brainstorming a little more. You talk about it with friends, with your spouse, with your significant other, maybe with your kids. You've got to figure this thing out. So you're going to really get creative and tap into ideas that you didn't even know existed. You're also going to be frugal. You're going to be really watching your decisions and you're going to make great decisions for what you need to buy. And you're going to buy what you need, not what you want, right? It's the whole shift changes from wanting things to needing things. And when you're in that adversity, in that bad spot, 
you get more frugal in making great decisions. You also get more dependent on family. You reach out to others. You're loving on them a little more. You're praying for each other. You're asking for help. You're carrying on conversations because you need that family love, that family unit to be able to tap into. Whereas in prosperity, you might have just forgotten about family because you're all about self. When you're going through adversity, your family gets really, really tight, and that's a good thing. So really, when you're going through adversity, you're back to basics. You're just going down through your creativity, your resourcefulness, you're tapping into family, you're being more frugal. So really, it's not that bad. So I just wanted to share that with you. It's just a little thought of the, the knee-jerk reaction, the knee-jerk answer. When somebody says, would you rather be in prosperity or adversity, of course you're going to say prosperity, but it's how you handle things during those times. You can get way too careless, like I said, during prosperity, and it's a bad thing. But in adversity, you can tap into some things that you didn't know you had, and it can really be good after all. So shift that. Whenever, whatever season you're in, make sure that you're making the right decisions for that, and don't fall victim to the bait in prosperity and don't fall victim to the woes of adversity. Shift your mind and handle both of those situations better from now on.